Over the past few years, professional players have leaned on the nickel 335Y defense to help them win over a million dollars playing Madden. Now you might be thinking that they know some secret, or they're doing something special that non-professional players could never possibly pull off. Well, in today's video, I'm going to give you the secrets of the pros. I'm going to show you exactly how they're using the nickel 335Y defense, and then I'm going to attempt to go on an undefeated Super Bowl run to show you how easily you can implement the tactics and strategies that we talk about and cover in this video. And with that, let's jump into it. The first thing that we need to do is decide on the right playbook for our nickel 335 wide scheme. These are all the playbooks that contain the defensive formation nickel 335 wide in Madden 22. I'm going to suggest to you that you use the 4-6 defensive playbook or the multiple defense defensive playbook because of the substitution trick that we're going to talk about next. Over the past several years, the general rule of thumb is the more defensive backs and safeties that you can get on your field, the better your defense is going to be. Now, both 4-6 and the multiple defense defensive playbooks have a very unique characteristic that make them special in Madden 22. They have access to nickel 335 wide and nickel 335. Now, nickel 335 has a very unique attribute. It allows us to sub safeties into all of the linebacker positions, something that we simply can't do in nickel 335 wide. However, we can come out in any play in nickel 335, and once we break the huddle, we can immediately audible to nickel 335 wide, giving us a nice little substitution trick to get eight defensive backs on the field and continually make our defense slightly better. And with our playbook chosen, it was time to start our Super Bowl run. In our first three games, our defense started out strong. In fact, in each of those games, we got a meaningful interception that led us to victory, giving us a quick 3-0 start. But there still felt like there was something missing. Now that we have our playbooks and our substitutions figured out, we next need to talk about our audibles and coaching adjustments. As far as audibles go, I would recommend Cover 4 Show 2, Mike Blitz 0, Tampa 2, and Mike Blitz 3. And as a quick reminder, we're setting these audibles in nickel 335 wide, not in nickel 335. And now we need to talk about coach adjustments. This defense should be run with auto flip on and auto alignment set to base. I like to run option defense on conservative. And then with zone drops, this defense can actually be run without zone drops on at all. But if you're going to have them on and they should be down distance and opponent dependent, I like to have my curl flats, which are my purple zones, set somewhere between 5 and 10 yards. And then my flat zones, which are my light blue zones, set somewhere between 20 and 25 yards. With the coaching adjustments set and the audibles locked in, it was time for games 3 through 6. This is where we start to really find our groove. In fact, over the course of these three games, we don't allow a single point. We go 3-0 again, total of 6-0, and we're really in a good spot on our road to an undefeated Super Bowl. And now that that's all out of the way, let's start talking about the defense itself, and let's start with one of the best blitzes in all of Madden 22. As a quick reminder, we're going to select any play in nickel 335. Now once we break the huddle, we're going to immediately hit the audible button, which is X on Xbox and it's square on PlayStation. We're going to slide one to the left and we're going to end up in the nickel 335 wide area. Now we're going to talk about a universal blitz in this setup. We can run this technical out of any play, but for the sake of this, we're going to pick the play Mike Blitz 3. This is a cover three defense and we're going to send a five man pressure that's going to come home against when they send out five people on routes and even when they block a running back. So how to set this up, the first thing that we're going to do is we're going to spread our defensive line. That's left on the D-pad and that is up on the left stick. After that, we're then going to crash them to the inside or crash them down. That is left on the D-pad, down on the right stick. In practice mode, you might have to do this twice. And that is again left on the D-pad, down on the right stick. Again, practice mode is broken. You can see that it did take two tries in order to do that. The next step that we need to do is to QB contain. Now, in order to QB contain on Xbox, that's RBRB. On PlayStation, that's R1R1. And after that, our next steps are optional. Uh, and you have the option to press if you like. You can also shade down and play hard flats if you like. Those are all options that you can do. But I want to show you the blitz. So what we're going to do with our user is we're going to stand opposite of the running back. And we're going to hug the center. So you can see the running back is on the left side here. That means we're going to stand on the right side. If the running back was on the left side, you got it. We would stand over here. But because the running back is on the left, we're going to stand here. Now, once we snap this ball, we're going to hover right here for just a second. And you're going to see that we're going to get heat just screaming off the edge 
for an instant sack. Now, you might be thinking, all right, well, what if I block a running back on offense, right? So let's just block a running back here quickly, and you can now see that the running back is blocked. Let's do the same exact thing on defense. And you're going to notice that... There we go, we got it set up. Let's press and play hard flats, doesn't matter. Um, we have a really, really unique thing that happens with nickel 335 wide. When we run it like this, you're gonna notice that the running back will notice the blitzer coming off the left edge, but will never actually pick him up. And that will give us a free sack every single time against an opponent who thinks that they're blocking six people in order to pick up a blitz. So we're sending five, they're blocking six, and we're gonna get pressure around this looping running back every single time out of this formation. And again, you can do this out of cover two, cover three, cover four, it won't matter. Uh, this is one of the best blitzes in the game. It's very difficult for your opponent to pick it up if they don't know how to block it. Absolutely one of the best parts of nickel 335 wide. With our blitz now locked in and an undefeated regular season on the line, it's time for game number seven. Game number seven proved to be a breeze. We were able to get in and out of it without allowing a single point again and giving us our undefeated regular season. But unbeknownst to us at the time, waiting for us in the divisional round was one of the best players in the world. Now that we understand the universal blitz, we need to talk about playing coverage. Now, once we've established that we can blitz out of any play in this formation, your opponent is going to either start max protecting or at least blocking a tight end in order to pick up the pressure. Now, what I really like to do at this point is start dropping into coverage. And this is when I want to really mix in those zone drops that we talked about at the beginning of this video. So in order to set up our coverage defense, what we're going to do is make it look exactly the same as when we're going to send pressure. So we're going to again audible to nickel 335 wide. We'll go to Mike Blitz 3 in this scenario, but you can do this out of any defense as well and just to keep it consistent though so again what we're going to do is we're going to spread our defensive line we're going to crash them to the inside we are going to qb contain and we're going to hover in the opposite of the running back slot right here now again if you want to press you can press but now we need to drop our extra people into coverage so because we have our zone drop set i like to shade my coverage underneath now in order to do that i hit y on xbox it's triangle on PlayStation, and then we're gonna hit down on the right stick for underneath coverage. Now what's gonna happen here is our slot cornerback on the right and our safety on the left are gonna drop into hard flats. Now remember, those hard flats are set to 20 or 25 yards, so they're actually gonna play 20, for 20 or 25 yards deep. Now additionally, we wanna put our outside linebackers, who again are actually safeties because of the substitution trick that we did, into curl flats. Now I like to use the quick adjustments for this, and in order to pull up the outside linebacker adjustments, you need to tap right on the D-pad twice. That'll bring up the quick adjustments, you then select the player you want to um, edit, and then hit right on the left stick, that'll put them into a curl flat. Now this seems like a lot of steps, but guys, it is incredibly fast. Muscle memory here, you can have this set up way before they're ready to snap the ball, and you're going to be good to go. Now your only responsibility when we're dropping into coverage like this is to just guard the middle of the field. That's it. That's all you have to guard. Everything to the left, everything to the right on the sidelines is going to be blanketed. They're going to have nowhere to throw that football, and they're going to be expecting pressure, so they might even try to get it out of their hands quickly. So we're going to snap this. Again, we're just going to hover in the middle of the field. That's our only responsibility, and we're just going to wait for that pressure to get home. We got a little bit unlucky here that we didn't get any block sheds, but again, this is something that you can mix in continually. It's going to drive your opponents nuts. It's going to keep them off guard, and it's going to keep them absolutely guessing what you're doing on defense whether you're sending pressure or whether you're dropping into coverage in our divisional playoff round we get matched up with shire boy 28 if you're not familiar with shire boy 28 he's consistently one of the top 25 players in weekend league and is clearly one of the best players in the world this was going to be the ultimate test of our 335 wide defense this game couldn't have started out any worse he got us into a fourth and long we weren't able to convert it so he starts off the game with an immediate stop on the very next possession, he throws a five-yard pass. William the Fridge Perry breaks five tackles, gets into the end zone, and we're immediately down a stop and a touchdown. Luckily for us, we're able to hit him with a bomb play soon after, get down within the red zone, and we're back within striking distance to make this a game again. And right here, we send out five. We're able to make the right read. We hit a low ball over the middle of the field, and we actually are able to take a one-point lead at this point in the game. 
On the next drive, our defense starts to lock in. We get him into a fourth and short, we bait him into a wheel route, we get the interception with our acrobat, and we are back in it. We've got our stop back, we have the ball, we can work down the clock and get some points. We're able to move down the field and get three into the second half here. We force him into a bad throw and we get the tip interception, now giving us a three-point lead and the ball, we're in the driver's seat. We work down the field, we find a wide open out route at the back of the end zone for an easy touchdown, and that locks it up. We were able to beat one of the top players in the world and advance to our conference championship one step closer to the Super Bowl. All right, we can blitz, we can play coverage, but can we stop the run? Well, lucky for us, Nickel 335 Wide is one of the best run defenses in all of Madden 22. Now, Nickel 335 Wide on its own is a very good run D, and there's not a lot that you really need to do to it to make it better. But there are a couple tricks and things that we can do to slightly tweak it to make it one of the best run Ds, if not the best, in the entire game. So, first of all, we can set up things exactly the same like we've done before. We're in Mike Witz 3, and we can spread our defensive line, we can crash them to the inside, and we can QB contain. Now, you're going to notice that this still does a decent job. Job. You can see us hovering opposite of the running back and you're gonna notice that oftentimes we're gonna just kind of cause a pile and we're gonna be able to make a tackle but we can actually make this a lot better if we're really anticipating the run coming here what we can do is we can audible again to Mike Blitz 3 but one of the first tricks that you can do is just not spreading your defensive line. Now, the blitz can still come in when you do this, it's less consistent, but this is one of those things that's going to really help just against the run by not spreading your defensive line. You can see that you can kind of get a gap shoot when you do that occasionally, and it can lead to just you kind of running in, doing a dive tackle, and getting them for no gain or loss of yards. The next thing that we can do is if we set this up exactly the same again, is we can actually just not QB contain and we can start sliding our defensive line. Now, the first thing that I always like to try when going to try to stop any run is to slide the defensive line opposite of the running back. So in this case, the running back's on the right, we slide the defensive line to the left, and then we stand behind uh, our right of screen defensive end here, or the running back side defensive end, and we look to shoot this gap once the running back is handed the ball. So you're gonna notice here, I'm using two controllers, but you can see that there's a gap there and we just try to shoot it and we do a dive tackle and we're able to stop that for either no gain or again, a loss of yards. Now, if for whatever reason, they have a run that you're just not able to stop and that's not working, the next step is to slide towards the running back. It seems weird, but oftentimes this will also work and you hover just kind of in the same area. You're gonna notice that you will often, again, just have a gap shoot, be able to dive in and make a tackle for no yards or a loss of yards. But this again, coupled with the blitz, coupled with the coverage defense, is just one of the best defenses in the game, and it stops the run really, really effectively as well. We were able to make quick work of our conference championship game and advance to the Super Bowl. The question remained, could we complete our goal by transitioning to the nickel 335 wide defense, go undefeated in the regular season, and win a Super Bowl? It was time to find out. So we start off this Super Bowl with the ball first, quickly march down the field, and we get seven points. So what a great start. We have the ball, we get seven points, and we immediately get to go try to get a stop to get a huge advantage going into the rest of the game. So our opponent here is the first opponent that we ran into in this entire run that loved to run the football. Now, early in the game, you're always trying to figure out what your opponent's trying to do. Sometimes they will run the ball just to set up the pass. They're going to start running it, and then they'll hit you with some play actions. This guy was a 100% a uh, running player. He wanted to run the ball over and over and over again. And it actually takes me a little while to actually adjust to this, uh, where I'm still skeptical on whether he's gonna continue to run it, continue to run it, continue to run it. Uh, but he is consistently running stretches, he's running dives, he's running powers. He's even running with his quarterback um, any way he can to move the ball up and down the field without having to throw it. So we start to just lock in on this. We're say we're gonna at some point say prove it. You're gonna have to beat man coverage. You're gonna have to throw the ball on us, and we get him into a fourth and short, uh, kind of halfway through the second quarter. And here we play perfect defense. We're able to get the interception, and now we're in a great spot. We got an early touchdown. We got an early stop. All we need to do is essentially just make sure we don't turn the ball over and we should be able to pull this off. So we also get another quick touchdown, putting us up two scores, and all we need to do now is make sure our opponent doesn't get a touchdown before half. We're even fine with a field goal, just can't be a touchdown. 
So to my surprise, he continues to run the ball. There's now a minute left in the first half. I'm completely fine with him running the ball. I am still playing pass defense here. I am even uh, doing uh, pass committing. I really want him to run the ball because now he's clocking himself. There's 40 seconds left. He's got one timeout. If he's going to continue to run the ball here, he's going to run out of timeouts and he's not going to be able to put himself in a position to get a touchdown. Again, a field goal doesn't really bother me. I don't care. I will even play in a position where he can take these little check downs. That's fine. He's now out of timeouts. He has to pass the ball and we drop into max coverage there and we get a block shed, get a sack. Now, because he doesn't have any timeouts left, he is forced to call a play quickly here. We're sending heat. We're not going to let him sit in the pocket and our heat gets home and we shut him out in the first half. Now, again, he gets the ball in the second half. So this is a very important drive, but we've got a game plan. Our game plan is no quick scores. If he's going to run the ball, we're going to let him run the ball as long as it takes a lot of time. And just take a look at the clock. We're at about three minutes left in the fourth quarter. This is still the first drive of the second half. He's just now getting down to our goal line. He is able to complete this and get in and get seven points. But now we're in a position where there's very little time left. We hit him with a quick and easy one play touchdown. This puts us up again 14 points. And our opponent has had enough. That ends the game, gives us our undefeated season, undefeated Super Bowl run with our nickel 335 wide defense. And if you enjoyed this video, I know you'll enjoy this one where I show you the top five offenses in Madden 22.